So far away, Nisha, what made you pick this video to do today? I feel like after this year that we've had, it's somewhat relatable. Just growing large and giving up. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> There's a fairly well-known fact that circulates online every now and again, positing that lobsters can theoretically live forever, which is obviously untrue because lobsters aren't from Asgard. In fact, lobsters die all the time with a condition known as being too old and too swollen. Yes, I've, I've heard that theory that lobsters live forever. Yes, I should probably explain that for people who maybe aren't um, all too familiar with it or have maybe heard it and are wondering, wait, that's not true. So yes, um, the fact as it's presented by lesser fact websites and um, channels that don't do their research like this one is that lobsters um, can live forever due to something known as biological immortality, which is the term usually thrown around to add a bit more credence to that claim. And whilst biological immortality is absolutely a thing, with a couple of animals on Earth noted as being functionally immortal, for all intents and purposes such as a species of jellyfish aptly called the immortal jellyfish, which can revert to a juvenile state, grow old, revert to a juvenile state seemingly an infinite number of times, and then a couple of species of planarian flatworm, and then some microbes and shit like that. Um, lobsters are not included on that list um, by experts, but as I mentioned, like lesser fact websites and channels will put them on there and say, oh yeah, lobsters can live forever. Like, they can't, they die all the time. And the most amazing thing about all of that to me is that there's a creature out there called the immortal jellyfish that lives forever. It just reverts to a juvenile state um, randomly and then will grow old again and it can do it a seemingly infinite number of times. Like, what? How, how is that a thing that lives on Earth? And then you have stuff like planarian flatworms, which are those creatures that can be cut up and will grow into separate creatures. And then those separate creatures, when they're fully grown, can be cut up again. And again, there is no known limit to the amount of times the creature can do that. And that's fucking terrifying. That's like a horror movie monster. Yeah, biological immortality is a thing, but lobsters don't have it, um, unfortunately, for them, I guess. Because it, it would be pretty cool to live forever, I suppose. Yeah, I think you just get fed up. You're like, oh god. <laughs> well, you would. It's um, like immortality is potentially the worst possible superpower because it means the odds of something bad happening to you is basically guaranteed. Um, like I say, well, the odds of me being trapped under some rubble um, is like what ten million to one. But if I live forever, that slowly approaches one. It's like okay, so eventually I'm just going to get stuck somewhere and not be able to leave. That's like one of my fears is being trapped. Oh, oh god. And I imagine you can't die when it's happening. It's like, oh no, that's a rough time. Well, there must be a reason why people think lobsters live forever. There is, and it's because lobster longevity is very poorly understood. And even seasoned lobster experts basically shrug when the question of how long lobsters can live for is brought up, which has no doubt contributed to the aforementioned fact that lobsters can live forever. And it's not that lobsters can't die, it's just that telling how old one is is very difficult because they molt so often, usually two or three times a year as a juvenile and once a year as an adult. And every time a lobster molts, from a biological standpoint, it's basically a brand new lobster. And the fact that the shell is brand new means that no matter how old a lobster is, it will always look brand new, like a fresh lobster. And again, this contributes to the myths that lobsters live forever, because no matter how old or big a lobster is, it always looks brand new, because its shell will never be more than a year old. And every time the shell starts to get damaged and scuffed up, the lobster will just give itself a new one. And that shell, because it's brand fucking new, means it's almost impossible to date a lobster. Date here meaning in terms of like, you know, telling how old it is. <laughs> Not actually go on a date. <laughs> oh man, well, have you ever seen like Hato for Boyfriend? I think it is. No. Uh, that's, the, that's the pigeon dating simulator. <laughs> it's, where, it's where you date pigeons. It's a, real, it's a real video game, look it up. I think it's on PS4. I, I swear there's like a game for everything, like literally any sort of simulation. We've not, the lobster, we've not had the lobster date you simulated oh, yet. So. It's, a, it's an idea. <laughs> but because lobsters molt, it's almost impossible to tell how old they are because as I said, from a biological standpoint, everything inside the lobster is about a year old. Meaning that even if a lobster is technically on paper like 100 years old, everything inside of it looks brand new. And humans do something similar, it just takes a lot longer. Yeah, isn't it like 10 years or something? I think 10 years is the number thrown around for how long it takes each and every cell in your body to be replaced by a new one, mm -hmm. um, because your body is constantly regenerating parts of itself over time, with the exception of the brain, um, which is the only constant in your body, because I think from the moment you're born, 
the amount of brain cells you have um, uh, is consistent and they can only go down. Oh. Uh, which is why obviously like degenerative brain disease is so fucking terrifying. <laughs> I might be wrong about that. It's like a half-remembered fact from an article I wrote years ago. So maybe there'll be a fact by below clarifying that. It's weird to think that like, everything else like is brand new after like 10 years or so, but the brain is still the still, same. Still the same brain. Hell yeah. fucking yeah. <laughs> All up there. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> well, bringing it back to lobsters, another thing that no doubt muddies the waters about the idea of them potentially being immortal is the fact that there is no known limit to how many times a given lobster can molt throughout its lifetime. But the only things that really limit it is just how much food and space it has access to. Because if a lobster can keep growing, it can keep molting. Uh, that, again, has led to people thinking, well, they're immortal. It's like, they're not immortal. They will die. We just don't know how long they can live for under ideal conditions. And there's a, a guy out there trying to test this. And I think he's got a lobster in a tank. He's like, I'm just going to leave it in there and see how big it can grow. Um, I expect my, um, my my children will be able to like find out for me because that's how long he expects the lobster to live for. Oh my God. It's like fucking hell. Giant lobsters. Well, that's like the Godzilla thing, sized. Well, maybe not that big, but <laughs> there are theories that somewhere on the ocean floor there are like three to four hundred pound lobsters the size of a man. Yeah, I imagine them to live like kind of like a giant tortoise, like a hundred odd years old. Oh, they can live for hundreds of years. There was that tortoise that was alive that met Darwin. There's some ridiculous ones. And then there's like koi fish, which can live for hundreds of years. That's one of the weirdest ones for me. Because there's a lot of creatures out there that have a, that are very long lived. But the one that was most surprised for me is koi fish. Because people tend to think of fish as being, you know, quite short lived creatures. Like, you know, a couple of years at most. But koi carp um, can live for like several hundred years. And I think the oldest one on record was like 300 years old. It's like, that's a fucking, a fish, that's that fucking, that's ridiculous, a fish. A I think fish. it's the same, isn't it the same with like uh, sea urchins as well? Can't they live a long time? Yeah, and sea sponges and coral and trees. There are like thousand year old trees out there um, in the world. And then I think there's a, um, like a, a collection of mushrooms or like a fungal growth under a forest somewhere. That's technically the world's largest living creature because it's basically this entire ecosystem that was under a forest that's thousands of years old. And then you have like clams and other mollusks who can live for potentially hundreds of fucking years. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's, 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 there's so many creatures that just live for longer than you expect. And then you look at humans, it's like, we've got 70 years, 80 if we're lucky, or 100 if we want to live to spite someone we hate. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. So we don't know how long lobsters live for. No. But we... But we know they definitely die at some point. Yes. It's just that when they die, it's almost impossible to tell how old they were when that occurred. However, we do know how lobsters die. Um, and it's not old age. It's something way, way more metal and relatable. And it is. They just give up. <laughs> uh, because the act of molting, as mentioned, is something a lobster can do throughout its lifetime with no known upper limit to how many times it can molt and how big it can get. The problem is, though, that molting um, gets increasingly more difficult the larger a lobster is. And eventually, a lobster will get so massive that it just cannot molt because the exertion of doing so will outright kill it. <laughs> so it gets so massive that it just gives up trying to live anymore <laughs> and will just walk around until its shell rots away and then die. Alternately, sometimes lobsters will try to molt, but will die due to the sheer exertion of doing so. Oh no. Thereby dying, trying to level up. And hopefully one day a scientist will be there to witness the lobster thickness, to witness the world's thickest lobster trying to go Super Saiyan 3, and it just like, can't handle it. And that's really rough though, because there are basically three options for a lobster when it comes to dying. It's uh, being caught and eaten uh, by either humans or predators. <laughs> getting so massive that they can't be arsed anymore and their <laughs> shell literally rots away. Or trying to get buffer and just dying in the process because it takes too much effort. Poor lobster. <laughs> Poor lobsters, man. <laughs> Poor fucking lobsters. So far away, Nisha, it's been quite a while since we've done a dumb Photoshop, hasn't it? For a moment, Nisha, let's imagine that like you mentioned earlier in the video, lobsters can get fucking ginormous. And let's picture a giant fuck-off lobster right now. It's going to be behind us, behind a cityscape. And Nisha, I'd like to think now of what creature you would want to never stop growing. Like, what creature would you want to just never stop increasing in size as it ages? 
Like we need like, you know, some Clifford tech in this one. Well, mine immediately goes to cats because that's, okay. that's always my answer. <laughs> so the only way, so we now need a building, a building size cat to defend us from the giant lobster menace that's going to be photoshopped behind. But I don't think a cat can take out a lobster because a lobster is pretty well armoured. We could just like, if we're going to rip off Godzilla, we could do it wholesale and just say like, you know, mecha cat. Just a giant robot cat, maybe. So a cat, a cat on the other side that has like robot parts that humanity rebuilt. I'm trying to think of like an animal that might be able to like beat through the hard shell of a, a lobster. That's the problem, isn't it? <gasps> like maybe a rhino or something. Oh, a giant rhino. That feels like it's going to destroy more buildings than it's going to yeah, save. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> a giant fucking rhino. <laughs> Like, can we please, though, just put a gun on each of the lobster's claws? <laughs> I just want that. I just want that. Duh. Oh, my God. Lobster guns. I, I love my job. Because the thing is, I can't see it yet, but I can imagine it. And I know that one of my editors is going to have to sit there doing this and then get paid for it. And that's fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs>